Pam Fletcher captured worldwide attention at the Calgary Olympics in 1988 when she ran into a course volunteer on a practice run and broke her leg. Ow. In the 80s and 90s, she did color commentary for ESPN with my idol, Bob Yaddy, and also called the TV coverage for the Olympics. Huh. But Tony, what has she done lately? Lately, Pam is giving carving clinics at Big Mountains in Vermont. The carving clinic, what we'll do today, and we work on skills. If you guys are all game, is we do video of you guys carving. How many of you have ever been videoed before? Yeah. Right now. As of now, <laughs> everybody. So I'm going to be your eyes and give you a lot of feedback on the hill, but I'm also going to videotape you. And once you understand the, the mechanics of what you want to try to do and achieve, it really becomes kind of magic under your feet. In part one, everyone carves some turn. The skiers are given specific techniques to work on. What I want you guys to think about is widening out your stance. Everybody seems to get their feet too close together. When your feet are too close together when you ski, you can't get good edge angle. Second thing, hands in front. Not only hands in front, but feel the pressure on the front of your boot. Wow, that's a girl after oh, my own there heart. There she is. <laughs> Very nicely done. What should I work on? Be aggressive with your upper body. Okay. Because when you hit something that's rough or bumpy, you want to be ready for it. And I, and I, and I, Very sweet, Candace. Is when you plant your pole, yeah. you drop it. And then you okay. rotate. And then you drop it, and yeah. then you rotate. And what that does is it starts to shift the weight okay. from ski to ski, you know, in one spot. So no matter which way I'm turning, I'm still trying to face my upper body down the hill. Feet wider apart so that you can try to work the knees and ankles a little bit more. But see, wider than that. And then keep that upper body really disciplined in the fall line. I want to see your hands. Right now your hands are kind of here. Okay. So I want you to push him out, like right out in front of you. Okay, pick him out. Oh, she's the one who's about to pick him out. Yeah. Is this Bill? Okay. Keep that upper body disciplined to the fall line. Don't let it follow across with the skis in each turn. Now, see, all right, okay. well, let's take a run, because I've been standing around. Yeah, I'm go. excited. Even taking to the trails is a learning opportunity. Time is too precious to horse around. One great way to learn is by watching how it's done right. Hold on to your poles like you're holding them, and get, get in that stance, engage the knees with the heel and the ankles. Now give me these pulls, okay? Now don't let me pull you over, all right? There, do you see the difference? Do you see how much more aggressive that is? I always tell people, if you're worried about going too fast or you feel like, you know, you might need to control your speed, just keep turning. If you keep going uphill, eventually you're gonna stop. You all watched the football game last night, right? Did you see anybody on the front line standing there like this? No, they were ready to go. They were in an athletic stance. They had their ankles engaged, their knees engaged, their hands were out in front of them. Facing down the fall line of the slope. So that I'm engaged with the fall line. What I find sometimes if I get going around too fast and then I do get a little back in the boots, like, yep. It, how do you, what's the best way to compensate for that? Just go low? You really just need to drive yourself forward and down the hill. After skiing top to bottom, the clinic reconvenes for a video feedback session. Every move is slow mode, freeze framed, and broken down to its core. Keeping your chest facing down the fall line, but look at this exaggeration with the pole plan. You can just keep them here. It's just a touch of the snow. It's just for timing. Plant your pole like you're conducting a symphony. Just a tap in the snow, just a tap in the snow. We can still get your feet a little bit wider apart. Wider your stance is, it's not only better for your balance, but you get much better edge angle. You can't get that edge angle when your feet are too close together. See this hand down here? Yeah. And it's, it's not only down, but it's back, and it causes your whole chest to shift. What, what I'd like to see is if you had a wider stance, and you create more of a C here with your upper body. See how I can create a C here with my upper body? More like that. So I'm more balanced. But drive with those hands, but keep that stance wider to get that better edge. When it's all over, everyone smiles for the camera. What's left is memories and better skiing.